Runaway success in the fashion industry is one way to describe the sensation caused by the Italian Benetton firm. It's a family-owned and operated company, and one of the Benettons is with Jill right now. Jill? That's right, Peter, one of the Benettons and his interpreter. Twenty years ago, very few people had ever bought a Benetton design sweater, but nowadays the buying of a complete fashion line is frantic. In fact, $511 million in worldwide sales. There are 3,400 specially licensed stores in 56 countries. And Luciano Benetton is just part of that family, and he heads up the business end of things. And you're here in Miami to sponsor the opening. Let's see, I'm looking for a microphone. I don't think I see one. Aha, it's behind me. Here we go. Sorry, that... That's a little oversight. We want to make sure everyone hears all three of us. Um, first, I want to introduce Mauricio Donati. You are the translator for Mr. Benetton, and say welcome to our program. Hi. And welcome to Mr. Benetton. Thank you. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Um, the, it's been such, such a phenomenon, the, the popularity of these clothing, especially among young people. How does the family explain just such an, almost an, a raging success that's happened here, especially in the U.S.? Come la famiglia e lei in particolare ehm, eh, guardano questo fenomeno Benetton eh, con l'espansione come si è? Ma io penso che sia nel nostro lavoro abbiamo immaginato sempre eh, come essere in un viaggio, eh, cercare di vedere le cose belle, di fare le cose utili. E nel caso specifico abbiamo cercato di avere un prodotto eh, che facesse felice la gente, che servisse a noi come business. È una roba molto semplice, diciamo, poche idee, ma abbiamo perseverato, cioè abbiamo cercato di, di portarle fino in fondo, cerchiamo di portarle fino in fondo. Well, while you start answering, we're going to show some pictures, because we want to be sure to be able to let people see some. Go ahead and tell me what Mr. Benetton yes. said while these are going by. These are the, the line. He says that uh, the dream of the family was to, uh, to do happy things and to make, to make people happier. So all the colors and the style of Benetton is for everybody. And uh, the colors and the styles and the image of the stores uh, play a very important role in, in their life and in the life of everybody. There, there is a lot of, a lot of color and, and, a, and a lot of fun. Um, it's a family business. To ask him a little bit about the, how the family developed the business. I understand one sister was a designer and then he began working with her. Did he, he and his, there are two more brothers, mm -hmm. did they ever dream that it would become this enormous worldwide company? Avete mai sognato nella famiglia che un giorno la Benetton sarebbe diventata così grande, così famosa? Beh, questo no, forse. <laughs> Comunque abbiamo um, pensato di... di di avere delle caratteristiche, cioè di portare avanti delle caratteristiche che fossero eh, non locali. Cioè, inizialmente abbiamo incominciato in Italia, questo è ovvio, ma abbiamo sempre mirato all'estero, cioè abbiamo mirato ai, al, al gusto francese, al, al pubblico di Parigi e diciamo è stata una conseguenza logica quella di, di pensare poi agli Stati Uniti. Yeah, it was a, it was a big dream. Uh, but um, he says that it was very helpful in the beginning to have a very international uh, point of view. So they didn't want to stay only in Italy. They wanted to, to be all over the world. And they, they stole the French taste and the English colors. And they put everything together. And they're putting it together in Coconut Grove this yes. week. Tonight and today is the big grand opening of, a, of a several Benetton stores. We want to thank you very much, Mauricio and Signor Benetton. Thank, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Peter? Thank you.